Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for around the 13th, but y'all know the timing is fluid, right? And not every reading is for you, so this reading may not be for you. And when I say the timing is fluid, typically these could play out at the at like right now, anywhere up to a few days. Sometimes people come back a month later and they say that they come back to the reading and say, oh, this happened. But anyhow, um, the timing is fluid. Uh, I did a poll in my community tab about uh, the changes, you know, face versus cards. If you want to go and vote there, feel free. I did put in there, it's either faith or a face. <laughs> not faith, but it is faith. But anyhow, it's face or cards, not both. I still get people saying both. They don't, apparently they didn't read the last sentence or something. I'm not doing both, okay? Face or cards. And I don't care what other readers do. I've had some comments that, are, those people are like blocked now. Do it like this reader. Um, I don't believe in copying another reader. I really don't. In any way, shape, or form, I, I don't. I, I, it's not who I am. And I have, I have to say something to the new readers that are coming on and commenting on all of my videos because they want to get my subscribers to go over there to their channel. You're blocked. Go someplace else. Passive aggressive comments. You know, you start the comment out with something nice, end it with something shitty. Start the comment out with something shitty, end it with something nice. Blocked. Death. The end. The end. So we have the end of something on this day. Death is a profound life change. It's a transformation. It's a transition. It is the end of something. So we do have a death here. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. Temperance. Intemperance comes right after death. It's the card right after death. And this happens to be the deck that I used yesterday. Okay, so it's been sitting on my desk. I didn't do any readings after that. Um, so yeah, I did, the, I did the Capricorn reading before. I just released my daily first. Um, and I do that quite often as well. But, and then we have the chariot on the bottom. So the chariot is moving forward, getting in the driver's seat, taking a journey. So we have somebody here that is taking a journey. They're ending something. It's time. The timing is now. Healing is going to be needed. You're going to need to accept. There's going to be an ending. Okay. The death card is the ending. Intemperance is accepting it. Acceptance of an ending. Profound healing is going to be needed. It's time for something better. It's time for a change. This is somebody that is ready to deal with the opposition. They're ready to make a move. They've mastered their emotions and they have replaced their fear with faith. Getting in the driver's seat, going someplace, finding the discipline and the determination. Somebody could be moving, you know, that's packing up and moving. This is a major ending. It is definitely time. Temperance, or temperance, chariot reversed now. Chariot reversed. Stop, dead stop. It's mirroring the death card. Dead stop. Something is coming to a dead stop. There could be an angry outburst ahead. Um, strength reversed on the bottom. That is weakness, illness. I wonder if we have some, obviously, we probably have somebody that is sick. Um, depressed, 
no no courage lack of courage somebody is not in a good place mentally again with that with that chariot reversed as well could be dealing with a leo could be dealing with a cancer and this could be sun moon or rising sagittarius scorpio There's control issues. We have somebody here that, I don't know if they're losing control or they've lost control or it's out of their control. It is time for a change. It's time for something better. Somebody has been asking for a new beginning, right? They have. They haven't been able to move forward because they've been weak, they have it, they've been in a place of fear. They haven't been able to let go of something. But now we have a major ending here. So the death card is a major profound change. It's a, it's a transition, okay? Endings lead to new beginnings. There's going to be a need to accept an ending. That journey is over. The chariot reversed. That journey is over. It feels like there's no going back. I wonder if somebody is going overboard. You know, they go overboard with the temperance reversed, you know. I mean, upright, it's upright. They go overboard. There's a need for moderation. There's also a need to heal from an ending. There's, there's healing that is going to be needed. It's going to take time. It's going to take time to heal from this. Oh, Five of Cups, grieving over a loss. That's right under the death card. So we do have somebody that is going to be grieving. This is grieving over a loss. Ten of Cups, underneath temperance. There is happiness ahead. Endings lead to new beginnings. Tens are completions. So you have to accept. You have to accept the ending happened for a reason because temperance is a card of reason. And purpose underneath the temperance is the ten of cups that's happiness extreme happiness a spiritual blessing the storm is over you're gonna receive something better there's something better ahead okay you need to stop there's no going back there's no going back there's it's over something is over eight of pentacles reversed Queen of Cups reversed underneath, underneath the Five of Cups. It could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, heartbroken. There's some sort of heartbreak here, uh, sadness, um, emotionally withdrawn, not communicating, withholding communication, withholding love. <clears throat> I mean, the Queen of Cups in reverse is not very open, loving, not very loving, not very emotionally available. There's emotions all over the place. This is definitely emotional. Six of Pentacles. Somebody's gonna gonna be getting what they deserve. Six of Pentacles under the Temperance card. That's re being in a state of balance. Balance is needed. Getting what they deserve. Getting the happiness, the relationship, the love that they deserve. They're going after that. Getting getting something better after this. Well, it looks like it's a loveless situation. 
okay they, there's there's no emotional content there we have somebody here that has been focusing on a loss not looking at the other opportunity but i feel like there's about to be a major change with a death card there's obviously another an opportunity here because with the five of cups this person has been focusing on what is gone the love is gone the love is gone it's over you know when there's another opportunity that they have been ignoring You see the opportunity that's right there that they've been ignoring because they've been focusing on some love that is gone. But, and they have been ignoring an opportunity for happiness. But this is a spiritual blessing. This is the storm is over. There's going to be a major change, okay? Three of Cups reversed, Seven of Pentacles, There's, or Seven of Wands. This is a battle. This is a standoff. I think that we got somebody here that is in some sort of position where they're always walking on eggshells. They're always being poked. They're always, you know, being put on guard. They always have to defend themselves. This is like, ugh, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. And I say that because I have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. That's giving up. Okay, that's like, I don't know, I'm not doing this anymore. I think we have somebody that's giving up on a relationship where there's been a lot of hurt. You know, there's been a lot of hurt. And it's with an individual that is not emotionally available. Three of Cups reversed is parting ways. It is parting ways. giving up not putting in effort anymore stop 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 and i feel like this queen of cups in reverse has been giving her energy to somebody else we get the queen of cups reversed the six of pentacles and the three of cups reversed i think there's a third party situation here She may be all about money. She's been, she, you know, because Six of Pentacles is about money. This is a, what can I get financially? So I do feel like we have somebody here that has not been emotionally connected. They've been dealing with an individual who was waiting for them to change. But now they're going after what they deserve. They're going to get what they deserve. They're going to get reciprocation. They're going to get some sort of equality because the Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. A relationship where there's equality, where there's, where there's uh, reciprocation. Somebody is, is definitely making a change. With death and temperance, they're accepting that it's over. It is over. There's happiness ahead. A happy couple ahead will it will it, will it will be easy so i do believe there's some sort of i don't know it feels like there's a standoff of some sort there's some sort we have an individual that has been fighting it's like having to fight constantly this has been a constant battle Ten of Cups is right in the middle. That is happiness. That is, there's a happy relationship when you accept that a change is needed. So I do believe, I mean, it is. The first card out is death. It's an ending that leads to a new beginning. Oh, here we go. Justice, of course. Justice. Justice is a final decision, making a decision based on the truth, being honest, doing the right thing so we do have somebody here that is about to make a very big decision it is a big one this is a final decision it is final now we have the moon on the bottom a lot of majors here a lot of majors so when we get a lot of majors that means the universe is in control this is a universe that is causing a change they're pushing somebody they are dealing with somebody that is hiding something you know, the moon is secrets, lies, deception, illusion, fantasy. I also feel like we have some addictions here. All is not as it seems. The truth is about to be revealed. Some sort of truth is about to come out. I 
I think we're dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Making a final decision. This is a big decision. And this is about balance. These scales are balanced. Sometimes in the Justice card, the scales are not balanced. So I think we have some, the scales are, are being balanced. Somebody is definitely going after what they deserve. They're going to get what they deserve. There could be some consequences here as well because Justice is a card of consequences and it's also a card of karma. So I feel like there's some sort of consequences for, I don't know if there's some cheating going on or what with the Three of Cups reversed or could be friends, gossiping, telling the truth, some sort of truth coming out. There is some sort of truth that is coming out. Eight of Pentacles reversed, giving up, not putting in any more effort into a relationship. Somebody is focused on a relationship, and it could be a work relationship, but I don't think it is. I think it's a love relationship, honestly. I know a lot of people want to live in fantasy land. <laughs> and not acknowledge the truth. But this is about acknowledging the truth. Okay. Oh, no, this is my work. We have somebody that is in a state of illusion. They're in fantasy land. They've been fed some sort of illusion. They're going to get some sort of truth that is going to uh, I don't know, I feel like it's going to wake them up. It's going to, it's going to cause them to make a transition. There is definitely a transition here. Change, major change. We have an individual that is about to uh, exchange something lesser for something better. We have a third party situation that is coming to an end. Somebody has been focusing on a relationship where the love is gone. It's completely gone. And they're about to stop. They're about to stop investing in that because it's time. It's time. It's time to stop putting in effort into a third party situation or into a situation where there ain't no love, there ain't no reciprocation. And get the reciprocation and the equality and the respect that you deserve. Remember when we saw the, t the uh, strength reversed? That's somebody that lacks respect for others, you know, that enjoys control. So we have an individual that has been enjoying the control that they have over another person. So that other, and they have been controlling that other person with their emotions, using emotional, that and that, because they knew that person loved them. You know, you can, you, they've been using that love against them. You love me. I can, I can treat you with disrespect. I can cheat on you. I can do whatever I want because I know you love me because you're in fantasy land. I'm going to feed the fantasy with my drug. And there is addictions here. You know, my, my drug. And love is a drug. You love me, I'm, I'm going to take advantage of that. And that's exactly what we have here. So I do believe that there is going to be a decision that is made. This is a final decision. This is being honest and truthful. Doing the right thing. Somebody is about to make a, a, a decision that is best. This is doing the right thing. Being honest and upfront. Because they're ready. They're ready for a better life. They're be ready. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. I do feel like they are ready. They are ready to, you know, get what they deserve. And I feel like... Um, there is definitely going to be a major transition here and it is going to be uh, 
a surprise. I feel like it's going to be a surprise. Um, justice, major truth, final decision, doing the right thing. A fair and just decision is being made. I can't put in effort. I can't, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. Devil reversed, breaking free from an obsession, breaking free from something that is toxic, removing yourself from hell, stepping outside of hell. Um, this is breaking free from a toxic bond because things have gotten worse. Somebody is obsessed. They are obsessed in severing ties. Somebody has to make a decision and they are going to make a decision to sever ties with a toxic situation where there's been a lot of fighting. The Four of Wands reverse, that's a separation. It is. This is the end of a commitment. This isn't fun. It's it's messy. This this party is over. This isn't something to celebrate. There's no celebration here. This isn't fun. It's 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 not good. It's not it's not fun anymore. This is the end of a commitment. There's unrequited love here. There is. I feel like there is. There's unrequited love, right? The Page of Cups reverse. This is a rejection. It's tears. There's, uh, I feel like we also have somebody here that has been infatuated. They were infatuated with somebody and that, and that allowed that other person to disrespect them because when you get, in, when the other person knows that you're infatuated, they have you wrapped right around their little finger. Devil reversed is breaking free from a talk. A decision is being made. It's right on top of the justice. A decision is being made to break somebody out of some sort of trap that they got into. They got into this trap, but they're breaking free, severing ties with the obsession, putting a stop to it, giving up. Eight of Pentacles reversed, not putting in any more effort. This, there's there's no unity here. There is no unity. And there's an opportunity for something better. There are absolute endings lead to new beginnings. We do have somebody that is ending some something. They are ending, and I think it has to do with a relationship. That they have been bound to because of, you think of the devil and the moon are both shadow fantasy. Illusion obsessions, addictions, breaking free from this uh, toxic situation. There is happiness ahead. I feel like we have an individual, I, I feel like it's a water sign, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm sorry, but I feel like, or somebody that has water in their chart, it's either water, sun, moon, or rising, so it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising, this person's going to have an emotional outburst, they're, they're going to, it's almost like they can't control their emotions, they, they start a fight, and that's what ends it. And I, the fight could be over money. The fight could definitely be over money. This person wants all the money. They don't want to work it. They want the money. They want the money. They want the money. They're obsessed with money. There's somebody here that is obsessed with money. Ace of Swords reverse. That is the sword that severs ties, but that's dishonesty. It's untruthful. It hurts. It cuts. We have somebody here that is being dishonest. They don't care who they hurt. Strength card reversed again. So this is somebody that is, doesn't respect others, that likes the control they have over another person. You see that light? That light just turned right on. <sighs> light bulb moment. Anyhow, 
get prepared for an ending that leads to a new beginning, I think it's very sudden. It's like a sudden light bulb moment, seeing the light breaking free from a toxic situation. The law could even be getting involved. The law could be getting involved in putting a stop to something. The cops could get called, just saying. The justice can be the law. This individual hasn't been putting much effort into a relationship anyway. They're just in it for the money. Anyhow, there's about to be a major completion. Things are about to change. You're going to have to accept it. It's time. It's time for a new life. It's time to stop putting in effort into a toxic situation where there's no unity, where th there's not reciprocation, where there's a lack of love. And that's the light bulb moment. Good luck.